Okay, so in this, the question here is what is the latitude and longitude of uh, Green Can 1 east of Mark Island, Penobscot Bay? So over here is Mark Island, all right, and here's the can. So first thing I'm going to do is going to measure the latitude. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one point on my divider right on the little circle that indicates the position of the buoy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my dividers until the other point just touches this horizontal line. That's a latitude line. Now, I'm going to sweep it. You can see here it, it, it just goes past it. Here, I'm just to the south of it. So I've got to make it just perfect. And if I just kind of uh, rotate it a little bit, I get a spot that's tangent touching that line in only one place. Okay, so now I'm going to move along this line until I get over here to my latitude scale. Okay, so here's my latitude scale. And I'm going to put the point right down uh, along this line that touches the edge. Okay, so now I'm going to read. So this is 10 minutes. Well, if I look down here, okay, this is 44 degrees 3 minutes. This is 10 minutes, so this is 44 degrees 9 minutes, so it's really 9 and change. Okay, so to figure out how much the change is in terms of seconds, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I, you see, I flipped my dividers around, and now I'm going to measure up from here. Okay, now there's no calibration here, but there is up here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up to my calibrated scale, and I got to have my point drop into here, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look, all right, so here's five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. So when I drop that in there, that becomes 20 and 3. That's 23 seconds. Okay, so it's 44, 9, and 23 seconds. So now we come up here. Okay, so 44 degrees, 9 minutes, 23 seconds. Now, if I want to put that into, that's degrees, minutes, seconds. I could put it in degrees, minutes, decimal uh, uh, seconds. So I would just take 23 and divide it by 60. I get 0.38 when I do that. So that is 44 degrees, 9.38 minutes. That is north. That's the latitude. To do longitude, I'm going to do something very similar, except I'm not going to use this horizontal scale on the side. I'm going to be using the scale up here. Okay, this is the longitude scale. So let's go back to our buoy again. Okay, so here's our buoy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the buoy from either this line, that's the latitude, longitude line, or this line, whichever one is more or less closest. This guy looks like he's right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it from over here. Okay, I do the same thing. All right, when I get close, I start sweeping arcs until the, the, the second point just grazes the line uh, right there. Now I'm going to move in this direction up this line, okay, and here we go, we're at 55, all right, so this is, if we look here, all right, uh, if this is 69, this side is 68, so this is 68.55, 68.56, 68.57, 68.58, so it's between 57 and 58, and it's closer to 58. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing. So I've got 55, 56, 57. 68, 57. Now I'm going to get my extra. Okay. Okay, so there I am. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, looks like, 40. Uh, it looks like to me like that. So that is 40 minutes and one, two, three. So that's 43. Okay. So that was, we're going to go over here now. That was 68 degrees, 57 minutes, and 43 seconds. Okay. If I take 43 and I divide that by 60, I should get something about 0.75, a little bit less than 0.75. Um, so that would probably end up being 68 degrees, 57.7 minutes, and that would be west.